Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another follow along routine. Today we are hitting abs, eight minute Tabata, follow along. All you're gonna need is your body weight, a workout mat, and eight minutes of your time to get after this one. This is a sample workout off of my brand new core ebook. So my top 10 functional core workouts to build functional strength and to build a six pack. I'm giving away a limited number of free copies right now. All you have to do is tap the link in the description of this video to download your free copy. Now, along with workouts like this one, body weight only, it's also important to be using heavy weighted movements in our core training to build a well-rounded core and to really build muscle, just like we would with any other muscle group, we need to be lifting close to failure with heavier weights to really stimulate growth. So this is not necessarily a workout I'd say do four, five, six times a week. We also need to be working in some heavy weighted training as well to really build a well-balanced core. So grab your mat and let's get ready to put in some work. All right guys, pretty simple workout structure. Four exercises, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest in between exercises. As soon as we finish exercise number four, we rest 10 seconds, and then go back to exercise one. So four exercises equals one set. We're doing four total sets, totally eight minutes of work. So we're starting in the low plank position for exercise one. We have a side to side low plank walk. We start in 10. So start on one side of your mat. Abs are tucked in, core is braced. Nice and controlled. So you want to avoid lifting the butt up in the air. We don't want the hips sagging. Nice straight body. Abs tucked in. All right, on our back, hollow rocks. Hollow body position. Rocking back and forth. Here we go. Tuck those abs in. If you guys need to modify, bend the knees. Point those toes, flex the quads. Back to the high plank, Muay Thai knees. High plank position, bringing the knee to the elbow, alternating sides. Squeeze your obliques when you make that connection, knee to elbow. All right, on our back, sprinter sit-ups. So we're sitting up explosively, acting as if we were sprinting, pumping those arms, alternating sides. Flex. Contract the obliques at the top. Lower slowly with control. Pull that arm back. Really engage the entire core. Time. All right, back to the plank walk. Here we go. Lock that core in. Don't let those abs bulge out. Try and tuck those abs in as best you can. You have to start feeling the burn now. Nice, hollow rocks. Never gauge it by the first set. <laughs> Just when you think 20 seconds is short, you realize how long it really is. Let's go. Nice and controlled. Contract those obliques.
Ah, all right. back to the sprinters. Abs are burning already. Here we go. Explosive. Slowly lower. Uh, round two done. Let's go back to that plank walk. Nice straight body. Let's work. Abs tucked in. All the rocks, this is gonna be painful. <laughs> Try to do it unbroken. If you have to rest, rest quickly, get back to it. So I personally rest once I can't keep good form. And I feel my, upper, my lower back coming off the ground. That's when I rest. Form is always the most important thing to me. It's a deep burn. <laughs> More tight knees. Oh, almost fell over there. Here we go. Really make sure you lock that arm out to stabilize the body on that single arm. Ah, back to those sprinters. Got a good sweat going. Let's go. Explosive. Pull that arm back. Engage the entire core. One more. All right, one more round. Let's go. Abs tucked in. Nice straight body. Uh, back to the hollow rocks. Last round. Let's go focus on form. Perfect the form. Let's go to the end. Uh, starting to lose form there. Two more exercises. Let's go. Our quick eight minute Tabata. Let's finish it strong. Make that connection. Contract the oblique. So really get that rotational component in. One more. All right, we finished it off. Sprinters, last exercise. Let's go nonstop. Finish strong. Sorry for the grunts. One more, and done. There we go. There it is guys, eight minutes. Fast and effective body weight, no equipment, ab workout. So targeting a good chunk of the core. We have some lateral movement. We have some isometric holds. We have some hip flexion, some explosiveness mixed in, 
some stability on that single arm. This is a good all around workout, fast and effective. Got a good sweat going, heart rate is up. It's a great workout you can throw in at the end of a workout to finish it off, or you can throw this in really anywhere where you see fit. It could be on a rest day or on a day maybe you're pressed for time, you can't get to the gym. Just throw this on the TV, get after it. At least get something in. It's better than doing absolutely nothing. We have to sidestep those excuses that we make pretty often. Once we get really, really busy and feel like we don't have time, it's so easy to fall down that trap of like, ah, I just can't, I just can't fit it in when oftentimes you definitely can. It just takes work, it takes willpower. So hope you guys like this one. Until the next workout, check out these other follow along workouts. Put in some work, let me know how you guys did. Until the next one, talk to you soon.